I wanted to talk to you today about the, the role of the scientist as a communicator. And the reason I'm talking about that is the, um, the inaugural address of President Obama, followed by his presentation at the National Academies of Science. He talked about restoring science to its rightful place. And I'm trying to find out by asking a number of smart people what we think those coordinates are. Where is the rightful place? What is the rightful place? Well, I think the rightful place of science is not as just another interest group or another constituency, some kind of priesthood of people who uh, portray themselves as doing something fundamentally different from what journalists or intelligent, responsible people do. Science, in my view, is just continuous with uh, with knowledge, with rationality, with trying to figure out how the world works. Science concentrates on some aspects of reality, tries to uh, achieve knowledge about it that's as uh, solid as possible, but ultimately what science does is not different from what anyone else should be doing, including politicians, namely trying to figure out what kind of world we live in, what makes it tick, and make decisions based on our best understanding of the kind of world that we live in. So a, a real failure of understanding, uh, and I don't know which side is to blame, <laughs> that struck me was some congressional testimony in which scientists were talking about global warming and a congressman said, oh, that's the kind of thing that you scientists always say. Now, uh, something went deeply wrong in terms of the role of science in public discourse for him to blow off scientists as just another interest group. Because assuming that these scientists were doing their jobs halfway right, assuming that they were you know, decent as opposed to uh, awful scientists, what they were doing was presenting our species' best understanding of the world that we live in. Maybe they weren't communicating that. Maybe they were putting on white coats and disguising themselves as some kind of privileged oracle or priest. Maybe this congressman uh, was just out of touch with what science is, but uh, that's the problem that I hope that President Obama uh, pointed uh, toward a solution to. Okay, so on the one hand, you were saying that, you know, we shouldn't be, scientists should not be a separate kind of group, not a priesthood. They should be doing the same job as everybody else in society. On the other hand, you just also said that they are practitioners of a craft which delivers a kind of privileged information. Well, the facts of the matter. It, right? it, it oughtn't to be privileged in that you kind of hope that that's what journalists are interested in, what politicians are interested in, I and mean, you can't run a country based on false premises, uh, otherwise thing, the effects of your policies will be the opposite of what you hope them to be. Uh, and ordinary ci citizens, we all want to know what's true and, and what's false, how things work, uh, not how they don't work. Uh, I think that scientists, in order to reinforce that that's what science is all about, should, whenever they can, try to retrace the inferential steps that lead them to their conclusions. Not just uh, we have announced or it's a consensus among scientists that the world is getting warmer and it's uh, the fault of, of burning too many carbon fuels, but why that is compelling. What is the kind of evidence that leads a scientist to that conclusion so that people will see that this isn't just one voice, it isn't just two sides in a he said, she said debate, mm -hmm. but that there were reasons that led the scientists to their conclusions, reasons that any intelligent person could reconstruct, at least in broad outline, to be persuaded or convinced. Science uh, and any person who is interested in the truth, which means any reasonable, rational person, ought to be seeking the best and truest understanding of the world attainable. I think science is simply the, the exercise of doing that with certain domains like how the physical world works. I think it's continuous with every other attempt to ascertain the, the truth, uh, and I think it ought to be uh, respected for that reason.